dangerous people are selfish people. Dangerous people are selfish people. And one of the reasons why I say dangerous people are selfish people are people that think about themselves. All that think about itself. You live in a home and all you think about is yourself. You think about your child, self. So you are a selfish, childish kid. Hey, glory to God. We live in a world where people don't care about one another anymore. It's all about you. You can't live in a world just about you because we need each other. The Bible say, not forsaking ourselves together. Amen. Glory to God, we shall come together as a community. Fellowship is not just one fella in the ship. It takes more than one fella to make fellowship. You can't have fellowship by yourself. The Bible says, where, where, where two or three are gathered in his name, he be in the midst. You need fellowship. You can't live this world just being selfish. You can't live this world saying, me, 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 me. He glory to God. Now, I'm going to say this, my friend. And, and the reason why God kicked Lucifer out of heaven, because Lucifer was concerned about I. He was very selfish. He was concerned about himself. He would take over God's throne because of I. I become pride. I become, it's all about you. It's not about you, it's about us. Amen, we can't live, the Bible say, my friend, where two or three gathered, what is two or three gathered? I know I said it verse before, but I wanna say it again, my friend. Because we gotta know what fellowship is. We gotta know what go to God. We gotta. That it's not. If you are injured, my friend, somebody gonna help you. You can't help yourself. Hey, glory to God. Hey, Amen. That's why marriage is very important. Hey, Amen. Glory to God. Don't have a baby all by yourself. You say you don't need a man. You you do need a man because man pregnates you so you can have a child. That's why this feminist pro, this feminism is, is lesbianism. Why well, I say feminism is lesbianism. If you think that you don't need a man, you're gonna drop by yourself and die and nobody there to help you, hallelujah. That's why the Bible say when this, the Good Samaritan, the Good Samaritan was not selfish. The Good Samaritan helped that man. Amen. But the Levites were selfish and the priests were selfish because they looked at the man, one cross on the other side, whether they're helping the man. So some of y'all are very selfish. You can't live this world being selfish. We need one another. Hey, glory. I say we need one another. Hey, glory to God. Together mean together. Not just one other. Together, two. It takes two. T W O T O O. But selfish people are dangerous people. Glory to God. They buy things, they lock in their room. They buy things, they hide things. But when they're out, they want to use people's things. They go to God. Come on now. Uh, we are family. We are not selfish. We are family. Your sister, hey, glory to God, your blood. So your sister, children, is not no other people's children. It's your blood. It's your niece. So you're talking about other people's children. Don't worry about other people's kid. My friend, it's your niece. Hey, that's your cousins. Your family. Blood. I know the Bible says the people say blood thicker than water, but my friend, no, we all together, we all in this thing together. It's one thing about Spanish people, they stick together. It's one thing about African people, they stick together. But one thing about Jamaican people, they don't stick together. One thing about American people, they don't stick together. And glory to God. But we, we need to learn from the African, we need to learn from the, from the Spanish, but American people are selfish. Not all, some. Jamaican people are selfish. Not all, some. Chinese people, they stick together. Japanese people stick together. I'm saying to somebody right now that's listening to this, this message, you can't be selfish living in this world. You need somebody to help you. Help, what is help? 
help, hallelujah, is healing. E is everyone. L is love. And P is people. You can't live in this world. Say you don't need each other. We need each other, my friend. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world. What's the Bible say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life. The reason why that man, a rich man, went to hell, not because he's rich, because he was selfish and mean and cruel, seen a man that needed crumbs from his table, he's, he just keep on keep on walking by the man and feeding the family. So the Bible says he both men die. The rich man, y'all think the rich man went to heaven because he was rich. Uh, wrong answer. He went to hell because he was selfish. You went to hell because he was mean. You went to hell because he was cruel. He went to hell because he put a spotlight on himself and put a spotlight on Lazarus or feeding Lazarus the crumb that fell from his table. He should invite Lazarus in. Selfish people, my friend. That's why I, I don't cross, I don't cross people. I don't, I don't, if I have money in my pocket, if I have something to give somebody that's big, I'm gonna help them. Hear me, my friend. I'm going to help them because we're all in this thing together. What I say? We're all in this thing together. You can't be selfish in this world. If you are selfish, you're going to die alone. And the reason you're going to die alone because what goes around comes around. What a man sow in his heart, so is he. Amen. The bud of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You selfish. You're all about self. When I look, when I look at the word selfish, the word selfish means that you are cruel. You can't live this world that you don't need nobody. Amen. The Bible say how this man, the rich fool, the reason why he's a rich fool because he built greater barns. He said, I food store for many years I gonna take my ease drink and be merry and the Bible say God say you fool today thy soul shall require a fee I'm talking about to somebody right now you're selfish selfish mean that you don't care about nobody selfish mean you in the gospel and you ain't telling somebody that the wage of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life you keep on letting people live in their sin and go to die in their sin rather than telling them there's a there's a way to escape and the way to escape is God that's why a lot of a lot of church folks are going to hell. You know why they going to hell? They are going to hell because they're selfish. The Bible says, "If I be lifted from the earth, I draw all men unto Him." You can't be selfish. You can't be mean. If you listen, it go further. If you are a if you are a child and you live in a parent house, you can't be selfish. Hey Amen. You can't be a person He go to God that think that you don't need to pay nothing. He go to God living it in your parent house. Hey Amen. You are adult now. You ought to pay something on the gas. You ought to pay something on the, on the light. You ought to pay something in the rent, my friend. You buying all these expensive Jordans. You buying all these expensive clothes. And guess what, my friend? Glory to God. When you grow up, man, your children are going to do the same thing to you. Because what you sow, you're going to reap. You can't live in your parent house and say, I'm not going to pay nothing. You can't stay in the room all day and play game. You can't, you can't stay in the room all day and live free, eat free. You, you can't even buy toilet paper to wipe your, you know what it is. Hallelujah. What you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about selfish people. You are selfish. Selfish. You live in your parent house, you ought to give them something. They're getting old now. And if they die, you become homeless. Because you haven't prepared for your future. You think your future is your game. You think your future is your muscle. You think your future, my friend, is walking the street, beating the street, and go over your friend. Your friend don't care nothing about you. 
Hallelujah. Let's talk about preacher. I'm talking about people that live in selfish lives. You can't be a child and don't want to pay nothing in this house. Hey, glory to God. I remember my friend. Hey, glory to God. I'm going to say this, my friend. I was in the negative $10,000. And here you are, a child. And you had money in the bank. And your parent came to you and asked you to help out. You walk away. Hey, glory to God. How can you be a, a child walk away from your, from your elderly parent when he asks for help? You selfish. Hey, glory to God. You're, and you think that what goes around comes around. One day, my friend, you will need help and somebody going to walk away from you. Hey, glory to God. That's why people can't keep a job. Because you're selfish. Hallelujah. Why well, I say you can't keep a job because you're selfish. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can't live in this world selfish. Hallelujah. You got to help out. Amen. Somebody need help, help them. Somebody need food, feed them. Somebody need clothes, clothes. Don't throw the, the clothes in the trash. Amen. And stop hollering people, kid. Amen. Selfish people are dangerous people. Selfish people are mean people. Amen. And if you are selfish, people don't want to be around you. Amen. You mean just like this like Bible talk about this man named Abel. It was Abel. And his wife was Abigail. And how David protect his, his sheep. And he said, Who is David? Who is David? But David helped him. He, David servant helped him. And Ab Abigail say, Don't do my husband no harm. And Abel, and she didn't tell Abel. What she did for those those servants of David. And the Bible say that God killed him. Because when what happened when Abel, when, when Abigail, when Abigail told him what she had done, the Bible say he was stoned in his heart, and the Bible say God killed him. You can't be selfish, my friend. I'm not selfish. Hey, God, God, come on now. I am not selfish because God people help me. I said, people help me. I remember my friend, I was in I was in junior high school, and his teacher knew that every day I tried to come to school, they was always trying to jump me because I was different. And she knew that she knew that I was I was always striving for perfection. And this lady passed me. And when she passed me, my friend, I become I became successful. Amen, because I was not selfish. What I'm saying to you, if you are a selfish person, if you are if you are a Christian, you ought to share the gospel. If you got money, you ought to you ought to help the homeless. You ought to help people that need food. Hey, glory to God. Every one of us are paycheck from being put out. You gotta stop being selfish. I got children that are selfish. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I say, I have children that are selfish. And as this message, I'm telling them, you can't live in this world being selfish. Because one day, my friend, you want to need help from somebody. And somebody, glory to God, what goes around. The Bible say, my friend, be not to see God is not my whatsoever man sow, so shall he reap. If you sow to the flesh, corruption. You can't live in this world being selfish. And glory to God. Selfishness, my friend. You can't live this world be mean. Selfish. You need to open your arm, your hands. Don't close it. If something is in your arm, you ought to open it and give somebody. You need to stop being selfish. And learn to share. Learn to share the gospel. Jesus Christ said, if I be lifted from the earth, I draw all men unto him. Jesus Christ told disciples that stay in Jerusalem until you be endowed with power from on high. And go to Samaria. 
He may go to the uttermost part of the world and share, and share the gospel. But I learned to share, my friend. Share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You should not be selfish. We just share the gospel.